So you're thinking about moving to Columbia, Tennessee. Well, in this video, we're gonna take you around Columbia. We're gonna show you three different homes at three different price points, so you can get a better understanding about what might fit or might not fit in your ballpark. And we're also gonna create a video, a separate one, which is gonna be the pro and con video, where we're gonna dive a little bit more deeper into the actual pros and cons, at least in our opinion, about Columbia, Tennessee. Now, in this video, like I said, we're just gonna show you around Columbia so you can get a, literally a better understanding and a better feel about what it would be to actually live here in Columbia, Tennessee. So that being said, let's get after it right now. If this is your first time on our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Nashville, Tennessee and the surrounding areas like Columbia, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications so that you can be among the first ones to know about the current market in Nashville. My name is Tommy, along with my partner Indro, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are looking to make their move to the Nashville area and we absolutely love it. So. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or shoot us an email. We would love to help you make a smooth move to Nashville, Tennessee, and the surrounding areas. So like Indro said earlier today, we are exploring Columbia, Tennessee. Columbia is about 45 minutes south of Nashville in Maury County with tremendous opportunity for land and slash or homes that are on larger lots um, which is becoming increasingly more rare in the Nashville area. So you're less than an hour away from downtown with the opportunity to still get that country feel to be able to stretch out and find some acreage if that's something that you are desiring. The magazine Southern Living, which is basically the Bible magazine for the Southeast, actually listed Columbia as one of the top 10 small towns to move to and raise a family in due to its music scene and its art scene. Very vibrant little community here. Yeah, and the cute thing about Columbia as well as you would see, and I'm a huge fan of it as always, is like its historic district. So we're right here at the public square, the historic downtown area of Columbia. And as you can see, like architectural wise, it's really, really cute. It's very charming. So it's something that is really, really, what I appreciate at least about Columbia, Tennessee, having that small town feel with that historic character. And as you will see as well, when we're gonna drive around this particular area, you will get the vibe what we're talking about. It's really, really cute. Um, and like Tommy said, you got so many options here. If you would prefer to have a smaller little house on a smaller lot close to downtown, that's a possibility for sure. But if you prefer to go a little bit more on the outskirts of Columbia, you prefer to have some land with you know a lot of like green space around you, it's an opportunity as well for you here in, in Columbia. So definitely Columbia is a really appealing city. Let's say it's a little bit far out from Nashville, yeah. which might be a little bit of a con, but if you don't care about that and you just prefer to live a little bit more down in the south of part of Tennessee, then definitely, or at least middle Tennessee, Columbia might be a great option for you because you're definitely going to get a lot more bang for your buck here compared to like the bigger city like Nashville. Absolutely. That being said, we are going to hop in the car, show you a little bit of this town square area, and then we're going to head to our first stop. Let's go.
right guys, so we are at our first stop today. Um, we are in an established neighborhood here that is very close to downtown. So about a mile away to downtown. You could hop on your bikes with your family and, and be there in no time. So you're very close to the Columbia Square, the little downtown and everything that that has to offer. Um, this neighborhood, like I said, is some older homes, but what you're finding are little pockets where they're just coming in and fully renovating these houses and making them really cute and really nice. Um, and that's what we've got today. So Indro's gonna tell you a little bit more about this one. Yeah, let me uh, turn the camera a little bit. So as you can see right behind us, this is like this little small house that they kind of like totally remodeled. Um, it is listed for $260,000. It is a two bedroom with one bath and it's around 1100 square feet. So it's not super big. However, it could be like a great starter home or it could be a good investment property like as a rental property. It's on a 0.14 acre lot and it was built in 1941. But again, like I said, this one has been completely remodeled and that's what we're seeing definitely in a close proximity to the public square of the you know the downtown area of Columbia is that all these houses either are like being renovated or kind of like tear down and, and just put a new one on it on the lot it all depends of course how big it is uh, but it's this is practically just a very convenient location towards the downtown area obviously of yeah. uh, Columbia and it has some like really beautiful nice hardwood floors it has an extra actually bonus room which you could use as a you know third bedroom so th there's a lot of opportunity with this property here and for two hundred sixty thousand dollars that's a good deal yeah absolutely and so we're just gonna hop in the car real quick as you know show you around the neighborhood before we head to our second stop here we go okay <laughs> guys so we are almost at our second stop uh, which is in the subdivision Meadowbrook yep, they're as you can see it is a, uh, <laughs> a lovely neighborhood where dogs greet you <laughs> so but yeah this is a little bit more of an established neighborhood as you will see lots of mature trees in the neighborhood um, lots of older houses I mean not super old obviously but most of them were probably built around the 90s beginning of the 90s um, and Tommy's actually going to tell us a little bit more about this property here that is for sale right behind us. Yeah, absolutely. So this one was built in 1990. Um, it is a four bedroom, two bath, about 1,650 square feet. Um, so great little starter home or for somebody with a young family. Um, lots of updates throughout. So um, you've got LVP, which is the luxury vinyl planks. So you got new flooring. There's new tile in the bathrooms. There's new paint throughout. There is a large back deck where you can just enjoy those fall mornings and evenings that we're slowly getting to um, here in Tennessee. Price points coming in at about $399, so right at $400,000. Um, a lot of bang for your buck here in Columbia with this house. The neighborhood, 
once the dog stopped barking. <laughs> very quiet, very peaceful. What you get with an established neighborhood like this is mature trees, mature landscaping. It's very pretty, very quiet neighborhood. Lots to offer here at this one. Yeah, for sure. So uh, before we're gonna go through our third stop, let's jump in the car and uh, take you around this neighborhood. All right, let's go. Here we go. All right guys, so we are at our last stop for today and um, it's gonna be a little different. I don't know that we've ever really shown a home at this phase of the process, but um, so we're looking at a new build that is still being built. It's not finished yet, but probably two months out or so, depending on you know how quickly they move. It is in North Columbia, closer to Spring Hill, pretty close to Spring Hill actually, close to the GM plant there close to the new battery plant that they built to support GM, um, close to everything that Spring Hill has to offer as well. So pretty cool location. You can still get down to the little Columbia Town Square and all the stuff that Columbia offers. You're also really close to Spring Hill, which gives you just a little bit more shopping options. The community, as we said, is a, a new community, brand new community, very family friendly um, with an HOA. Right, so you don't have to worry about somebody collecting old refrigerators in their front yard right next to you, bringing your property value down. But overall, just a really great community. And you're gonna have to excuse the mess a little bit, but Indro, why don't we turn around and you yeah. tell them about the house. So as you can see already, right behind us, it's kind of like a completed face, which is practically in the, at the beginning when you enter the community. And you will see that when we drive around. And if you see, if I turn my camera right there, you can see it's that one over there which is gonna be listed or available for $620,000. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. It's around 2,600 square feet. Um, obviously, you got the you know, newest appliances, everything is brand new, and which is really nice, it has a three car garage. Um, so this is probably, we're looking at a floor plan. It's probably one of the most expensive ones. Obviously, you will have a better selection if you want it a little bit smaller. Obviously, your price point will go down a little bit, but we're looking at probably the highest price point in this community. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, what Tommy said, like you know, it's still full in development, and you can see the lots in the background that are already ready to go. And then, if you look all the way further, which is a previous phase that it's already completed. Uh, but yeah, like Tommy said, obviously Spring Hill is growing, Columbia is growing with the new battery plant. Obviously big builders see an opportunity here is just to provide more housing for people that are looking to move here or do have a job at the new power plant. Um, so yeah, 
this gives you an idea about what you can get here at least in a new brand new community. Absolutely. Thank you guys for sticking around today. Make sure you check out our pros and cons video of Columbia as well where we dive just a little bit deeper into pros and cons of living in Columbia, at least in our opinion. Um, so we're going to just hop in the car, show you around this little new build neighborhood, and we hope to see you around town real soon. Bye-bye.